Hello there. Welcome. I'm Captain Mayhem and I will be your host for the show and help by building an empire. So, what will this be about? I am Captain Mayhem. Together with my guild, the Jaeger Clan and our alliance, New Byzantine Empire, which at the moment isn't that big. As you can see, I know we are aiming the most powerful guild in the game. With that, I of course mean having the most territories in the entire game. I want to build an empire that every player in the entire game has a name that every player in the entire game but How do we get started on that? So, what was the next step? In our journey. The next logical thing, in my opinion, was that this might sound weird to get connections. Not to uh, directly try to rush to the level cap and the most powerful gear, not to grind the most money, but we needed allies. If we want to take over this world, we need people to do that. So, in logical conclusion, we should have possible guilds to our counter. Too big for me. Many of them. The game to the conclusion that the NGC, I think it was called, would be a possible guild for us to ally with. They had a similar mindset, a similar mindset, and seemed to be open to newer players. They already own several territories, so it's like, yeah, we get the shot. I came in contact with their person, and they came in contact with my person, aka me at this moment. And the conversation went like this. Alright, do you want to be part of the largest uh, empire ever built in the world of Albion? We rule, have the most territories, we'll slaughter our enemies, let all the heretics burn! Now, alright, we kind of are already in an alliance, but we could still work together, like, uh, do you want to merge with us, or rent with us, or, like, build a house with us, but that would make you a renter, do I want, do you want to be a renter, uh, like, if you're, are you alright with that, like, you could still merge, we, what direction do you want to go? Now that depends, mate, like, if it's 20,000, it's alright, 500,000 on the edge. It's 1.25 mil. Oh. So. After that failed slash non-failed attempt. I decided that was get more players. Was their advice? In all honesty, they were really nice. They offered us to be allowed to merge into their guild to lay them off split or to split it on again but yeah I talked to my guys and they were not willing the new Byzantine Empire should be built by us we are the Byzantines not them and we can really want to do this thing right so we started First things first was recruiting a new player. This player turned out to be a total scammer. And before you say, also ask your money back with the Nigerian prince you gave it yes to yesterday. Please listen me up. He was in the middle of a town square. I think it was in Fort Sterling. He was selling, I called. I got my ass kicked by cankers and I got kicked out of my guild. Oh, well, and I, being the nice guy that I was, came to his aid. Being like, alright, that's wrong. And he explains. I gave him a donkey and my secondary loadout that I was carrying around. I was on a mid travel so I was carrying a secondary loadout to save within every town. You know, to make sure if I die there and so on, can just walk back to the closest city and almost it. This was not a good idea. It was not a good idea at all. 
so this guy basically there. I got kicked my ass by gankers. At least give me a few thousand, few hundred thousand bucks. And I did. Then I said there are a few conditions. You join our guild, obviously. This was how I was trying to get his trust and get him to join the guild. And you work with us in that guild, being one of our players. Yeah, da da da. da. You and travel with me to Marduk. I thought if I get this guy to travel the entire what way, he, over there, he must be convinced that we are guys for him. He must be willing to work with us. Nope, it didn't mean deadly thing. He traveled again from Fort Sterling to Marduk. It took two hours because of he riding a stupid ass. Four miles. That's halfway to uh, halfway to pitch much. I just said uh, very upset. I'm replacing it. Here, got a better one. This one is 60,000. Yeah, that was a good idea. Good idea. So, if you ever see this player, kick his bloody ass. Kill him. Gank him, I don't care. I hate gankers, but if you're a ganker, gank this bloody guy. I put a prowess on his head right now. If you can prove to me that you killed him, you're allowed to join the guild. Which you're allowed to do anyway. Please just, just, just join. Please, 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 please. But in the spirit, please join the guild. So. Our next step was to go recruit some people and not give away too much money. So I did that. I recruited a really nice guy. We did something else together. Now we start the guild and of the Jaeger family. We we'll probably get the Jaeger. They'll get him there. We also did a lot of recruit. A little while before our scammer. Let's call him scammer. Before our scammer. This guy is now my royal guard, seeing that he was with us for over a month now, and yeah, he got my first. So, that seems about it. Don't know if this was too interesting, but yeah. I do really feel like I should have seen that coming, that scam. And that guy must have been laughing in my face, he would probably go like... Outside of that, I think I want to wish all of you a nice day. I think this is the proper end to a video like this. He's slaughtering a bunch of bloody heretics. Yeah. Being Catholic. Playing Skilled. And Rammstein. Because those two are both Catholic enough to me. <laughs> anyway, I want to wish everybody here a very nice day. And I'll give you guys sponsor. See you on the <laughs> Before I get to mention you better join the bloody hair empire, flick all the heretics and let them all burn!